Amiga! Amiga! Your sis be looking like a snack though! Looking like a snack! Looking like a snack, amigs! Even though I'm way better at eating the snacks though! <laughs> <laughs> What is up you guys? It is your girl Jennifer Ross coming to you with another video and for today's video I have a makeup look for you guys because it's been forever and a day since I uploaded a makeup look and mm -mm, this is a beauty channel girl. Valentine's Day is approaching and your girl had to serve you guys some inspiration. This look is perfect if you're going on a date with your man, if you're going out with your girlfriends, if you're just staying in the house but you just want to look amazing in the house. You gotta look good for the house, girl. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy your Valentine's Day. Don't put yourself in crazy situations. Let's get this video on and pop in. Bye, guys. So the first thing we are gonna do is moisturize the lips because we gotta make sure these are juicy. They cannot be chapped up. And we're gonna go in with the NYX Yellow Correcting Primer. We're gonna apply that on the T-zone and just smear it out with clean hands. And once that is completely taken care of, we are gonna go in with some foundation. And for foundation, I'm using my MAC and my NYX foundation. I'm mixing these two together and applying it with a Zueva blending brush. I'm just applying that all over my face with the brush. And then next, when I have it all applied, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend that bad boy out. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys, whether you prefer a brush or a sponge. I really want to know. The next, it's time to apply some concealer on my designer bags. I'm using this um, duo situation from NYX, and this is in the shade Peach. I'm also applying some of that um, concealer on my forehead, on my chin, and also on my upper lip. Just, you know, in the places that, um, that I want to highlight, you know? Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC highlight pen in the shade Light Boost. And I haven't used this stuff in forever, but I just forgot how amazing it is. And I'm just applying it all over the places that I put the uh, concealer. And then I'm just blending that whole situation out with my Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques. And I'm just making sure that everything is seamless, you know, that you don't have any crazy lines going on. Just make sure the whole thing is blended, okay? And right here, I was not liking what I was seeing. I was looking like a ghost. So we're going in with my NYX face powder. This is the Stay Matte powder. I don't know what shade it is, so I'm gonna put that in the description box down below. But I'm just applying some of that to my face with my powder brush from Real Techniques. I'm also going in with my Kiko powder blending brush to buff that out and make that situation even more flawless. Then it's time to bake uh, and I'm using the W7 Banana Dreams powder. I'm gonna apply that in all the areas that I wanna highlight, under my eyes, on my chin, on my forehead, and also on my upper lip or on the bridge of my, no of my nose, I'm sorry you guys. And then I'm gonna like dust it off with my powder brush from Real Techniques. I love this brush, it works amazing and it's super affordable you guys. So I think everybody has these brushes, like everybody and their mama. If you don't have them, you need to buy them girl. Add some warmth to my face. Warmth? Yes, warmth is the word, I think. I'm using my Forever 21 contouring brush. I bought it at Forever 21. I don't know, I just saw it at the checkout and I, I wanted to buy it, so I bought it. But it works perfectly fine, I love it. And you can also use like a really a real contour powder, but I just like the effect from the bronzer, so I use that instead. Then we're gonna move on with eyebrows and for eyebrows I'm gonna use 
my stop dancing girl what you doing i'm gonna use my freedom eyebrow pomade and uh, this is in the shade chocolate i'm gonna use this to fill up my eyebrows and you know shape them and make them look like less sparse let me know in the comments down below you guys whether you are also into the eyebrow pomades or whether you like a pencil better i want to know i want to know a lot of things today i don't know why And next I'm just going to use the spoolie side of the brush to just blend out the product and make it look more natural. And then like everybody and their mama I'm going to just clean up my eyebrows and I'm using that same, same concealer duo from NYX to do this. I'm also going in with a brush to make sure you know everything is seamless and less noticeable. And of course I'm also using my beauty blender to blend that out even better. Then I'm gonna prime the eyes and I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm dancing again. And for my eyeshadow palette today I'm gonna use the Naked Heat eyeshadow palette and I'm going in with my first color uh, and that is the color Heat Devil. Then next I'm gonna layer the color Sauced on top and I'm just uh, blending that out with a blending brush. And then next is the color. What is that color, girl? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put it on the screen, you guys. I'm blending in that color as well. And I'm using a fluffy blending brush to do this. For the brow bone, I'm going to use my Betty Luminizer from the Balm. I just like for the brow bone to look a little golden. And then for the lid, I'm using the color Amber also from the Naked Heat palette. And I'm applying that all over the lid. And I'm using the brush that came with the palette to apply this. Then next it's time for the inner corner and I'm going to use the I Heart a Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm using the color Foil for my inner corner because I wanted a pop of gold and the Naked Heat palette didn't have that. So I took another palette to do that. So I'm just applying that to the inner corners. And then I'm gonna go in with eyelashes. These are some Ardell Wispy lookalikes from AliExpress, you girl. I'm gonna link them in the description box down below in case you wanna get them. And I use the Duo Eyelash Glue to attach them to my eyes. Then we have to blend in the fake fall, the fake falls, of course, are. Oh my god, the, we gotta blend in the fake eyelashes with the real ones. And we are using the Benefit Roller Lash. And just applying a little quote of that girl. And then, we gotta, you know, we, got, we gotta put some life on those cheeks. So I'm using this blush by Benefit. It smells amazing. It smells really, really bomb. But it's also very intense. So be careful with that. For highlight, I'm going to use my Betty Luminizer from the Balm and I'm going to apply that on the highest point of my cheek and also on the point of my nose and on my cupid's bow and I'm loving it. I'm also going over that with another highlighter. This one is from Urban Decay. It's their, their illuminating highlighter and it's so extra, you guys. I know, two highlighters. Why, girl? But yeah, because, because we can. And then poof, girl, like poof. <laughs> I love me some highlighter. For the lips, I'm using some nude lip liner from NYX. And I'm just lining my lip, filling the whole thing in, making sure, you know, everything is covered because this makes the lip products last longer. And for the lip products, I'm using this tropical chubby stick from Wicon. And that is it. I'm just applying some setting spray by NYX. Then I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge and just press that setting spray in to my skin. You can also let this dry by itself, but I love this way better. And it's also a way faster, so I like that way better. And that is it, you guys. We are ready to 
catfish we are ready to slay this look is a bomb i love this look and you know i just love it you guys i hope you guys like it too give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye guys